key made. One key. Literally, <laughs> Foot Locker. I told him like 3,000 pair of shoes. Tiny, tiny bit, tiny bit. All right, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> Big ball is back, baby! Teach me how to shoot. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh yeah, that's how quick it is. Oh, you're gonna be a cowboy and hate after this. Look out. I'm learning. House guest, let's get it. Y'all see me, y'all know what it is, man. Pulling up on my swole brother, Mike Bibby, you guys. How's it going? What's going on? What's good, bro? Appreciate it coming. How you doing, bro? Good, I'm Thanks doing good. Thanks for having me, bro. Thanks for coming. Yeah, man, so tell me a little bit about this whole little community over here, this whole <laughs> cul-de-sac. Well, we got my two brothers over here and my sister right here. We got a gate. Kids can come out here and play. And play, yeah. Go on the playground. We got a playground over there. Some golfing. A little putt and putt over there. But it's nice. Keeping family close. Yeah, got to. You guys like single-handedly pick everything you wanted in your crib? Yeah, I mean, we got to build, like, that brother over there, he came in with his own map and right. how he wanted Blueprint. everything drawn up, everything. But my other brother just said, just give me a nice house, whatever. Freddie, what's up, my man? <laughs> you gotta turn them on. He'll scare he'll scared, he'll scare out you. <laughs> Look at him, bro. I used to be scared of this guy, bro. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to, nice. welcome to the house, man. Take you in the game room. Oh, gotta yeah, go to the game, game room games. first. Look at these. Oh, they got all these boxes of shoes. You guys <laughs> got them laying around everywhere. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah. A lot of boxes of the J's. Oh, you got games on games, jerseys. I laid out some football. Old school. Some Hall of Fame football. NBA Showtime. Yeah. Oh, Jerry Rice. And Lee Lewis. Oh, we Charles got, Wilson. We got, we keep track of everything, so. You can't lie. Oh yeah. Oh, see, so look. We got, I'm glad I'm not the only we one. Got, we, we write do this everything too. down. Yes, that's what I do in my crib. That's lit. All right, man. So you got some nice kicks over here, man. Who are some of these guys? Who's this right here? Ray Allen. Ray that's Allen. Ray Allen 14s. And I got Gary Payton. I think one of the best point guards I played against in my career. This is uh, T Mac. Olympic shoes that we played on the Olympic team together. This is T.O. Terrell Owens. He was a part of the Jordan brand as well. So, you know, he signed a pair of shoes for me. Tim Duncan. The fundamentals. Probably one of the best power forwards, if not the best power forward of all time. Fact. You know, I just collect stuff every team. I went through everything I've been through, so. Explain to me how one gets on a brand Jordan team. Like, how do you, how do you get the Jordan deal? It was going to be Puma or Jordan, if I wanted more money or less money in the shoe. And would you sign with Brand Jordan? That wasn't even a question. I said, hell yeah, I want to. Yes, let's do it. And it was over with. And I was with them for 14 years. And you I still get the stuff. classic, <laughs> the classic purple. You had the purple and white 12s. Yeah. Like the nines, fives, like all like fives, three. Yeah. Like you had every shoe and hooped in them and yeah. was out there. Like I don't balling. even know how I played in them too, because I put them on now, and I like the newer shoes more right. to play in than the old, old school ones. But the, a lot of the younger kids like the old schools. So, Bill, explain to me what's on this wall right here. You know what I'm saying? You well, was it, Arizona. It started here. This is the All-American team, All-USA team. They got Kobe Bryant, Tim Thomas, Jermaine O'Neal, Ronnie Fields. This was in the Western Conference Finals, me and Bobby. How, how cold was he off the bench for y'all? He was good, like a little Vinny Jackson. Getting buckets. Yeah, that's, that's all what he I did. That's I used to remember when I was watching y'all. I know he wasn't passing it. Talk to me about the Pac-10. We got high at the right time, because we didn't even think we were going to make the tournament. We were like fifth or sixth in the Pac-10. You know, we got hot right when we needed to. We beat, two, we beat three number ones that year. Who was on that team? JT on that team? Jason Terry, yeah, Michael Seattle Dickerson. Guys. Shout yeah. out to my guy, 206, man. Miles Simon. Yeah. Coach Olsen let us play to our strength. So the first game, he called us in and said, Mike, I need to, I need to shoot. So that's when it started for me. Like, you don't worry about shots, get the shots. You know, coming in as a freshman, y'all was like, right. I don't step on toes, yeah. nothing like that. So you come in and just, he told me I need to shoot more and, and, and that did it for me. This is a gym I wanted to build for myself and my kids to where if they don't need a spot to play, yeah. take a few steps and go in there and get gym. We got volleyball, basketball, so. Damn, you got your own all. gym, bro? This is lit. My son would come in here a lot and come and get a lot of work in, too. You shooting against your son? 
Yeah, I mean, he, he beat me sometimes, but you know, I, I'll keep going till the, like, he ain't never beat me one-on-one -on -one, though. Not yet. No, I'm not playing him no more, though. I can't play him. <laughs> oh, last time, just so you can say you always had on top. <laughs> last time I played him, he was like 14 or 15. Would you consider yourself one of the dopest to never win a championship? I don't think it was like that, but I was having fun at the time. That was the, that was the one place where I wanted to be, Sacramento. Right. The owner came to me in Vancouver and told me, like, you know, we're going to move the team. We'd like to trade you to whoever you want to go to. And he said, where's the number one place you want to go? And I told him Sacramento. And I remember I was at the gym, I'm shooting shots, and someone called my brother, like, hey, your brother just got traded to Sacramento. I was like, no, nah, I would have heard from my agent. So I went and checked my phone. I had a call from Sacramento area code in Vancouver. So I'm like, damn, must have happened. I just went crazy, and I was just happy to be there. So yeah, man, thank you for showing me your gym, bro. I'm glad you came, man. Let me make my last shot before I leave, man. To. Make it a layup. That's why I didn't even shoot none. I didn't even shoot none. Make it, make it a layup. Through. You got to make your last shot before you leave. You got to make it a layup. No one has video of this. I'm going to give you a little tiny peek. Ooh, I told y'all. That's where it goes down. You can see all the man. Only one key made. One key. Tiny, tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Tiny bit. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. You, can't, you can't get no more of that. Don't let Nate that's go in here crazy. and pick something Jay. out to show. To show I'm, I'm going to go pick a random box and just bring it back and see what, just what they are. I'll be right back. Right back. I don't know, just a random. A random box. Just some lows, fives right here. Classic. Six, six, These six. These are the sixes? My yep. bad, the sixes right sixes. here. Sixes. See, they got, even got the yellow on them still. That's, that's show you how old Original. they are. Originals. Baby blue. Yeah, these are stuff. Random box, just jays. Let me put these back where I got them. Y'all can't see in here. My back big enough to, to block it. So you got any like trap doors? Like, no, you know, no, like, no, you, no, you no, no, none of that when nah, you build, no. build your house? It's all, it's all basic. And I said, just make sure my closet has enough room for my shoes. And they didn't do it. Because they didn't understand <laughs> what I you had meant when you said you wanted. I told them she over. She said, look, I want Foot Locker, <laughs> literally Foot Locker. But I told them like 3,000 pair of shoes. That's crazy. I need to have room for. And they said, okay. But then when I come, I was like, my shoes ain't gonna fit here. And that's when we had to do the garage. We had to do the garage, I had to hold, take one of the garage and turn it into a closet. Would you put your shoe game up against anybody's shoe game? Like somebody like a PJ Tucker or? PJ Tucker I think has more shoes that there are not many of. Right, ones of ones. Yeah. There's a lot of one of ones. As much as shoes I have, I don't think anybody. Let's talk about family, bro. What, is, like, what does family mean to you since you have your family so close? Like, it means everything. Right it just, I was telling myself, you know, we grow up to where the kids can just go outside and play. I feel good everybody's still here. And, you know, family lasts forever. It's cool. Kids get mad at you. Go to grandma's house, man. Go across the street. <laughs> I told her. Literally, go across I the street. I told my mom, to too. House. Look, I said, Mom, you want me to build something on here for you? She's like, No, I'm fine. But she's over here almost every day. It's a beautiful thing. That's something that you want to kind of trickle down to your kids. Yeah, that, always. Uh, you know, be keeping your family close. Always. I mean, that, that's what it's going to be. You know, they grew up, they grew up in the same situation I kind of grew up to where I am now. No matter how long you haven't seen each other, you know, if you're doing something else, like my kids are in college, now they come back, everybody's still, still the same. I definitely wanted to pick your brain about, you know, just that Sacramento team and, you know, playing with the, the guys that you were playing with on the team. It was good. It was tough for me getting traded for a fan favorite and Jason Williams, you know, I wanted to come in and be like, you know, damn, I hope people like me because, you know, getting traded for him was a big deal. But uh, everybody made me feel comfortable, was glad to have me. And that made it so much easier for me to to come in and play. And, and, go. Yeah. and my agent told me, like, don't, you don't need to try to score 20 points. Just go out there and play, fit in. And uh, we had the best record in the league that year. Good run in the playoffs. It was just, it was just a fun thing to be around from the owners all the way down to the last play. It was the best time of my life. For the world and the people that didn't know what Mike Bibby looked like before, can you just, you know, explain to them, you know, the style and how you were before you got all swole? Like um, I always, I've always lifted weights, but, you know, back then they kind of, you know, look 
down upon people lifting weights. But now that I'm done playing, I get to the gym probably eight o'clock, leave 11, 30, 12, by li just lifting weights. And now that you're done and playing the big three, you come in small. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing we big like, what now. did Bibi eat? <laughs> this is definitely a gift for me, bro. I've just been a fan since I was a kid. Thanks for having me, I appreciate me, you coming, man. Definitely, I'm a fan man. too, I've always been appreciate a fan you. too. Oh my God. What is this, like snakeskin, green? These are tough. Not even just, just don't even look, just these, these, look at these. Masterpiece. It's only a size 10, I got baby feet. <laughs> Sorry guys.